I recently saw a tweet which said that if you do the same thing twice ever, you should get it automated. Well, sending homework reminders is something that does not come naturally to me. I don't remember to do it, so why not get that automated, okay? Today, I'm gonna to show you how I can get Notion to speak to Microsoft Outlook and send an, a, a reminder email to all my students on a schedule I want, for example, exactly 48 hours before the homework's due, using uh, an intermediary app called Zapier. Now, if you've been around the Notion space for long, you know that Zapier is like hyper-powered to link into Notion and link out to a couple of thousand other apps. And in this case, we're gonna link it to Microsoft Outlook and show how we can drive emails automatically to whoever we want to from a Notion table, from a database in Notion to those students or anyone else, any other emails that you wanna send on an automated schedule, just taking, stripping away the admin for us and improving the outcomes for our students. Let's jump into Notion, Outlook, and Zapier right now. I'll show you how exactly how I've got this set up. Okay, here we are looking at the example class homework due reminders app using Zapier to automate the reminders that my students receive, telling them that their homework's due exactly 48 hours after the reminders re received or sending the reminder 48 hours before it's due in, okay? Now the link to this exact zap is in the description of the video, so please do jump in there, but I'm just gonna talk you through what I've got it set up as, okay? So when we go into uh, Zapier, we need to set up a new zap, and this is the zap that we've got. It's a at the highest level, it's a three-stage zap. We've got a trigger, and then we've got two actions, okay? So the trigger is that a new database item is added in Notion. Now that is a, that item is the homework in our homeworks database, okay? Uh, so we're using the Notion app, and it's new database item, and we continue. You would want to link this to your Notion account. Okay, link it to your Notion account. Lots of videos out there showing you exactly how to link Notion to your, your Notion account to Zapier. So I'm not gonna go into that right now. Okay, but you can find stuff like that on YouTube already. Um, then you wanna select the right database. So here, my database that I'm using for this one is the example class database. So that example class homeworks database is in the Notion Teacher Planner 2022. So grab yourself that. that also the description of that will be in the video. In the description of the video. And um, when you're setting it up, Zapier then goes looking for an example in your uh, in that example in that database, finds an example database item which you can then look to make sure that, that is actually the right database, it's got the right properties in there which match roughly. It doesn't look exactly what it looks like in Notion, obviously, but it is the right one. Okay, so that's fine. We hit continue, that's cool. Then we've got a delay. So because we don't want our reminder email to be sent immediately upon the homework being set, we want the delay to hold off sending the email until exactly 48 hours, in my case, 48 hours before the homework is due. Okay, so we jump in here and we use a delay by Zapier uh, app and we delay until, you could, there's other delay, we could delay for or delay until after some other actions have been completed. This is the delay until, okay, continue. Um, and I'll show you what the Notion database is set up like shortly, but at the moment this is a, we delay it until our properties send, let me see. Until our properties send reminders date start is, and I'll show you what that is shortly when we jump into the Notion database to have a look at that. Um, how should we handle dates in the past? This is only gonna happen upon first setting up the zap, but if it's, I was just told it to continue if it's up to one day, so if that reminder is meant to be set within the last 24 hours, then it would still send upon setting up the zap. But obviously that's only gonna count when you've initially set it up. Uh, and then we can tell Zapier just to retest that this stage works. So we test that. Delay schedule ran successfully about three seconds ago. That's fine. I've never tested it and it's not worked. So I don't know what, what would happen then, but it always seems to have worked for me. So that's fine. Hit continue. Then we jump into Outlook and we the, what we, the action we want to happen now. So after the trigger and after the delay, we now want the email to be sent in Outlook. 
so we choose Outlook, which will be up here. I've already chosen it in this app and it'll be already chosen for you. If you wanted to send an email, there are other options. We could create an event or a contact or a draft email. I just want the email to be written and sent straight away. Okay, so we'll send the email. We'll link it to my Outlook account, which is fine. Then we set up the action. And we want it to go from, if we want it to go from our email address, we leave it blank. So I've left this blank. I want it to go from my email address. We want it to go to, well, I would change that to whichever, whatever the email address is for the class that should receive the reminder. In this case, I've just done it notion for teachers at gmail.com just for demonstration purposes. Then we jump on down and we're further selecting other notion properties to drop in among some text, okay? So I want every one of these reminders to say maths prep due in two days. And I want the, then we've got the title of the prep. In this case, it was subtraction. So you'll see in the email that's received that the title, it'll say maths prep due in two days. Title is subtraction, set on. And then it's the set date. So the student knows the title and they know the date the homework was set on, which is fine. And then you can include any text in here. Now this is using HTML and I am no expert in HTML at all. However, quick Google, I was able to find that a return is that symbol, or those symbols. And to insert a hyperlink is these symbols and these, this text. I am no expert in this stuff, but a quick Google sorts all that out. Um, it's already in there for you. And then I'm dropping in a few Notion properties where I do want those to change depending on the homework that's actually been set. And again, I'll show you what those look like in the Notion database very, very shortly. Press continue, press retest action, okay? And I'll quickly jump into my, my no, when we see that reminder will drop in here. There it is. Okay, so that's the reminder just dropped in, having retested it, having tested the, the zap. Uh, dear example class, this is the text that we were looking at two seconds ago. Uh, this is the same text, dear example class, dear example class, two returns, a helpful reminder. Uh, it's this one, it's subtraction, that's the title of it. The title is up there as well. It was set on that date, which is a Notion property, so that'll change depending on the homework. Um, and you can link it to your homework management system is what I would drop into my Notion database, which I'll show you in a second. But that's your click here. And in this case, I'm taking to the YouTube channel. Is there any issues? Obviously let me know, but otherwise I look forward to seeing your completed homework or prep in less than the day after the more kind regards. And then I'll a quick link to where the clinics are running, my clinics are running, um, just because students will always ask that anyway, won't they? Where are the clinics running, okay? And then in that case, I've set that up, I've tested it, so I can see the emails are sending as I want them to look like, and then I would hit publish, okay, I publish that, all right? And then that zap will send those homeworks. Now, the one last thing I need to show you, obviously, is what the notion database looks like to drive this, okay? So when I'm setting a homework, I'll be jumping in here and I'll be saying, right, addition, okay? Title is addition. I'll set it today, all right? Now for this purpose, it's currently 11.42, so I'm gonna say that the homework is due two days from today, and I need to include a time, I'm gonna say 11.45, um, 11.45, like that, so that means, oh, that wrong, so that'd be 45, it needs to be 11.45 there. Um, and it's example class, doesn't, doesn't impact the zap. And I'll include the link to the YouTube channel again. So there's a new homework addition. It's due in 48 hours and two minutes. So that means that in two minutes, this reminder will automatically land into my um, Notion for Teachers email inbox because I've got it set up to send to that email inbox, okay? Um, and those are the properties we've got. Now, just one thing while we're waiting for that zap to drop in, what we will notice is that I've got my set, home, date set, date the homework set, date the homeworks um, due, and those are manually, I'll set those completely manually. What I know is I want a reminder to send exactly 48 hours before the homework's due. So what I've got in this for this column 
This is the one that drives the delay. Okay, the delay is set on this. The zap delay until it's set on this. Um, it's a formula, and I want to edit that property. And I can come in here and edit the formula. And that's it, so it looks for the due date. It's a date subtract. And the due date is the property. Due date, we're subtracting two and we're subtracting days from it, okay? So that means that whatever I set as the due date, the send reminder will send exactly 40 hours before because I've chosen, that's the formula I've said to subtract two from the due date. Now, if you want to send one day or a number of hours or a week before, or it's any other reminder about your teacher workspace, you could change that. I've said it's 40 hours. I think that's about the appropriate length of time to give students a chance still to do the homework. And, um, chance still to do the homework <coughs> and get help with it if they need it. Um, the something I'm considering, oh, there we are. So the clock has hit 11.45 on the 11th of November. Okay, the send reminder was due to send on the 11th of November, 11.45. And there it is, it's popped in. All right, from me in this case, uh, dear example class, Homework was set today, was set today. The title is addition, addition was set today. Uh, it's linked to the homework management system there. So that's a link for me, it's that YouTube channel, but you could set anything you like in there. Um, and it's got a link to the clinics. And I just think that is so useful for our students. Okay, if they need help or they, need help organize themselves, especially if they're lower down the school and they're not used to the ways of a little reminder will always help. And yes, we try to teach them to be independent, but also uh, learning the subject and doing the homeworks that they're set is, is pretty crucial, isn't it? So I just think this is so useful. It's one less job for me. I don't need to remind my students then that the homework's due. Uh, they'll get this reminder and they should be reading their emails, obviously. All right. Listen, I hope that's super useful. You've been watching Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos every single week or trying to. I'm trying to get back to that. I know I haven't recently, but I'm trying to get back to that. Thank you so much. I'll see you again as soon as I possibly can get another video done.